weekend, you guys. Um, so let's do the huge, a little recap of what we got going on this weekend. Uh, we're not gonna do any men this weekend. That sounded extremely inappropriate. So uh, yeah, we're not, we're doing fun. We're doing important things. We're doing vlogging. We're going to a restaurant opening. Um, so today's Friday. I forced myself to do something for myself this morning. So I feel like the prominent theme in my life uh, for summer is going to be self care and self love. So I noticed, and my mom was the one that actually kind of pointed it out. She's like, do you even sleep? And growing up, I don't mean to brag, but I was kind of a champion sleeper. Um, and I literally would sleep until, I don't know, like 1130 on the weekends. And my mom was like, whoa, seriously, don't you have things to do? I do have more shirts than this, by the way. I just really like it. <laughs> so. Um, she was like, do you even sleep? And I was like, yeah, I do. And I was like, wait, do I? Because I'm usually on the phone or doing something dude related until like 11.30 and then I get up at five every day. So I'm not really sleeping that much. And my anemia, I'm anemic by the way, among other things, um, has been a little haywire lately. So stress, lack of sleep and all that stuff, all that like normal stuff make it worse so i made made it a point long story short by the way i woke up at four this morning and usually i would just get up and start my day between four and five is when i wake up the boys aren't here and i was like f that and a half it's four in the morning nobody wakes up at this time unless you're driving like a cement truck or you're a cop that gives tickets or i don't know you work for like public safety like you're a public servant. Why am I getting up at four? So I forced myself to go back to sleep. It was pretty hard. I had to watch some boring, boring YouTube for a little bit. Um, and then uh, I got up at 8.30. <laughs> I feel so weird getting up this late. Like the sun is up and like people are all energetic and stuff. And I'm like, this is how people must feel around five when I'm like wide awake and they're like, whoa, stop it. Who are you playing with? What's happening? Who are you playing with? I just hear you running back and forth. Huh? What's haps? What's the haps? Whoa, are you saying good morning to everybody? Oh, that's who you were playing with. These two are hilarious. They're the biggest and the smallest, but they're like the biggest homies. It's kind of nice. Oh, you guys, look at this. Weirdest shot ever. You guys better not be pervs, like feet pervs. This is one of the Kathleen Light summer colors. Isn't that pretty? It makes me look tan. I should have put that on my hands, um, but I didn't. On my hands, I have a different color. I'm testing out the formula to these polishes. They're gel-like. Gel-like polishes, they're not actual gel polishes. Um, at Walmart, I should probably go upstairs and show you the bottle. They're really good. I was surprised how opaque they are. They do leave a very thick layer of polish, which I'm a fan of because it makes my nails feel thicker. Like I told you guys, my nails are very thin. Another side perk of anemia. <laughs> it makes my nails very uh, thin, so I use thicker polishes because they look nicer and they give me that more like they they give me that confidence you know my nails don't fold or flake or whatever okay you guys like literally i have to focus so that i can actually finish one story before jumping into 72 others squirrel <laughs> friday so today's friday i'm having lunch with my friend sue me girls lunch uh we're gonna go to this place called <laughs> tapas no uh, Arepa, Arepa, Texas, Arepa, Texas. She found it on Yelp. We've never been there, super excited. I'm doing that for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm going out with my friend Peter um, and he keeps bragging about like this taco, taco shop place. I honestly, like he doesn't want to tell me the name because he's like, no, you're going to go without me and then that's going to turn into your spot and you're going to take it from me. And I was like, bro, relax. It's just got me out of fries. Like, it's not that serious. It really is, you guys. If you've ever lived in Southern California and then you move, he's actually from like Los Angeles and you move from SoCal 
to a place like Texas where they put queso on everything and you order stuff like a burrito or you order stuff like tacos, it's not the same kind of food. There's this whole other cuisine that I wish I could document and I could write a book or a blog on it because taco sh California taco shop food is a whole other cuisine on its own. You can't find that anywhere. So there's literally no joints like that around here in Dallas that offer like carne asada fries or a California burrito or don't put queso on everything or the beef and tacos isn't ground beef. You know, it's pretty hard. It's either fajitas, arepas, or like ground beef. Like it's just, it's not the same. It's just that taco shop, that taco shop food is not available. So that's kind of where we're gonna go today. I actually have to go to Ikea because Sam's coming next weekend. Actually, when you guys see this vlog, Sam will be here already. Um, so I have to go to Ikea because the room downstairs is missing furniture. Um, perks of, you know, <laughs> you know. So it's missing furniture um, and I have to buy some furniture. I've just been holding off and it's so embarrassing. Every time my mom or Sam come, they have to put stuff on the floor. Anyway, I need um, some nightstands, a console or a dresser or a console dresser, you know, like use a dresser as a console type of situation. Um, so that's today. Tomorrow is Saturday. Um, I have to go to a restaurant soft opening. You guys remember when I got invited to True Food? So I got invited to this Italian restaurant that's next door to True Food. Looking forward to that. Um, so that should be fun. And then Sunday, I don't have any plans yet. I should probably get my coffee done and drink, drink, drink. Oh, look at this, you guys. Let me show you this. I haven't actually tried this, but I thought it was interesting. So I got this at my PO box and it's called Java Zen Organic Coffee with Matcha and Cacao. So supposedly this is one of those um, instant coffees. It comes in like a tea bag. It's an instant coffee that tastes very, very good, and it's super loaded with caffeine without the crash. Anyway, I'm gonna go upstairs. I wanna show you guys something super exciting. Actually, let me show you guys something now. Okay, I'm just gonna give you another second to look at that amazing nail polish, and I think I realized I'm wearing these pajamas in my other vlog. Whatever, you guys, you know, that's just life. So, Ta-da! I had painters come yesterday and they painted the doggy's room. This room used to be a really, 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 really... Whoa, what's up? Don't bark at your brother like that. We don't growl at each other. Um, it used to be a really, really, really dark navy blue. It was just dark and sad and it was dark and sad. <laughs> Why is my voice kidding like crackly? Anyway, so how beautiful is that color? It's kind of looking a little baby blue, isn't it? Anyway, okay, so let me show you guys. Actually, you know what? I haven't made my bed and I'm pretty sure my bra is like on the bed or something. So I'm gonna make my bed and then I'll show you guys I finally finished my room. Do you guys remember every time I would vlog and I would show you guys my outfit of the day and then you would see the paint in the back and it was like half teal, half beige, half baby blue, and it was kind of a sore subject. I was talking to my best friend, Sam. She's like, Danny, I have to ask you a question. And I was like, oh, Sam only asks important things. She's like, are you ever gonna finish your room? <sighs> Straight through my heart. I love when she speaks the truth. I was like, you know what, Sam, you're right. I just haven't had time. I'm not motivated. I bought this paint, it looks baby blue, and it's disgusting, and I just stopped painting. Like mid paint job, I was like, F this, it's ugly. So I stopped. I was like, but just for you, I'm gonna call a painting company, I'm gonna get a quote, and I'm gonna take care of this. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna disappoint you. So I'm gonna run upstairs and make my room look like a grown up room, and then I'll show you guys how amazing it looks. All right, so we're gonna do an impromptu room tour, just so that I can show you the paint, cause you know, that makes sense. Um, So this is my room. Now, before you say, hey Danny, it looks really expensive. <gasps> Let's be honest, it's not. So, with the exception of a few pieces, most things here are very affordable. Um, but let's point out the culprits of breaking the bank first. So you guys see that lingerie chest there, right there, right there, right there, right there? <laughs> Why did I just talk like that? So that lingerie chest uh, was actually a present to myself after a milestone with my uh, business. So I thought I needed to... Um, treat myself <laughs> um and then actually let me just show you guys up close this little guy here it's an end table slash nightstand slash whatever you want it to want to use it for um this is from tuesday morning and it was less than 200 dollars. 
Slamp is from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, one of those places. It was less than 15 bucks. So there's that. The bed itself was, I think, less than $400. It's from Target. You guys, check out that wall paint. Like, that was literally the whole point of this video, but whatever. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, when the guy was like, come in, uh, you want to see how it looks? Like, check it out, see how it's doing. You guys like my weapon? Um, I, I almost cried. I was like, wow, this is uh, amazing. Everything's coming together. So the linens on my bed, they're from all over the place. Most of them are from Ikea. The uh, European shams and um, the regular shams are from Anthropology. This rug is from Pier 1. This is another one that was kind of a pricey investment, but it's totally worth it. Look how fluffy it is. Do you see that? It's like really, really dense. It's super hard to vacuum, but it's really comfortable. Over there, same thing. Um, that little table, that nightstand, is from Tuesday morning. Um, that jewelry chest is from Pier 1. Same lamp that we have over there. Um, this mirror is from Walmart. It's 160, 170 bucks. And then the last thing is over here. These are, um, this is my dresser. This was like my dream dresser. I refused to buy a dresser until I found like the perfect one. This one is the perfect one, but man, is a pretty penny like it, it's from restoration hardware which if I was a ridiculous bajillionaire after I set up like a million schools in Africa and El Salvador and open like a million rescues <laughs> then I would get all my furniture from restoration hardware uh, and I would get a driver my mom the other day was like hey um she goes hey Danny if you ever just were you just got to a place where you're so beyond blessed what is the one stupid purchase that you would make like the one ridiculous makes no sense but you're just gonna get it for yourself because you're that comfortable and you've already done what you want to do you know to help others for now or whatever like you've already had some selfless whatever moments you know you're not just being ridiculous money bags I was like I would get a driver she was like really a driver like that's just I was like, yep, yeah, I would get a driver, someone that's just like waiting around for me to need something to go somewhere because I hate driving. I'm not a bad driver. I just don't like driving. I just can't do it. Can't do it, you guys. I, I don't I don't know why. Anyway, so over here, I don't know if you guys saw that little guy. That's Peewee. He was my very first dog. I got him. I got him. He was a gift to me when I was nine. It's a very long, 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 sweet story. And if this vlog isn't very long, I'll uh, share it with you guys. But I got him when he was three weeks. He was the runt of the litter. His mom wanted to bite him <laughs> so um he just got dropped off in my house i was nine i had to bottle feed him every two to three hours again i was nine um and he lived until he was 17. he actually passed away two days after my wedding so i miss this little guy every day he was so 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 funny like i can't even tell you guys the kind of dog he was it was he was hysterical um <clears throat> anyway so that's my little impromptu room tour actually let me show you guys this I don't think I showed these to you guys. These are little, um, I don't even know what you would call them. They're, it's just Bible scripture that I kind of have laced around my house. And I pick very particular themes for certain rooms. Like the boys have certain ones about responsibility and loving their parents and things like that. And just being good citizens. Um, in my room, I have some about just trust, just letting go and trusting. And I got them from... Christian for uh, I forget the name of that store it has Christian in the name but they have really beautiful I hate the color of this one but I just couldn't pass up on the message um it's the first thing I see when I wake up it's pretty nice anyway you guys know I link the bejesus out of vlogs so anything in here that I can link or similar to it or if you guys are like oh my god Danny we need to be room besties I'll try and find stuff that's similar to um, the stuff that is in my room so that we can be room besties and then you guys can show me on snapchat How about that? All right, boo boos. It's 1130. Uh, here's my little outfit of the day Flat sandals. Seriously guys, this nail polish. Hello uh, <laughs> uh, Chambray shorts these are from Target and then my shirts from I think 
Abercrombie. And no makeup because it's my best accessory, it's my face. Okay, it's not my accessory, it's my whole face. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to be inspirational, but I'm really hungry, so my brains are not working right now. But yeah, that's my cute little outfit of the day. I just need to go to Target, my P.O. Box, uh, Ikea, and then meet Sue me for lunch. I am so hungry, you guys. Um, look at this nail polish. I mean, isn't that adorable? Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys. Let's just keep it moving. This Danny, man. Danny can talk. All right, so how do you feel about this amazing shade? Can you guys even see? Isn't that beautiful? It's this new polish line at Walmart. It's supposed to be like, I guess in the name, volume gloss. I guess that says everything, right? Because remember I told you guys it's like a really thick polish, really opaque, and it makes her, I mean, it makes my nails feel really, really, I want to say safe or secure, which is so weird, but that's literally how it feels. Like it feels, it makes my nails feel so good. Um, and then they also have the um, volume shine uh, top coat. And then they have this, which is a quick dry spray. I've never tried anything like this, but it totally made me feel like I was getting my nails done at the salon. So it totally made me feel like I was getting my nails done at the salon, um, but isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Like, hello. Why do I look so concerned? I'm gonna have like the worst wrinkly forehead ever if I keep doing this. Okay, one more time, just one more time. I'm kind of obsessed with this color, you guys. It reminds me of Mod About You, which I wore in the previous vlog, but this one's a little bit more nudie peach. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so let's go, you guys. Let the adventuring begin. like wait for me I'll help you you don't need to do this by yourself and I was like no I got it I can do it by myself oh I should have asked for help I'm sweating and I'm gross and now I have to go to lunch all right guys we need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation I should probably turn this down so you can hear me I need I really need to get comfortable with asking for help I feel like it's probably one of the things that I struggle with the most. Um, I'm not proud. It's not something like, oh, it's a matter of pride. Like, oh, I can do this by myself and have a point to prove. Honestly, like, I think the underlying reason is I don't want to burden anyone. I don't want to, I don't want I don't want to impose on anyone, so I just figure I'll do it all on my own, you know? So I have to buy this furniture um, for my guest room. I've been putting it off because on the weekends I usually film, and you guys know that with building furniture and moving boxes and stuff like that, like your hands get tore up. And so it was just, it wasn't a priority. Now that Sam's coming next week, I just really need to figure it out and finish it. And so my friend was like, you know what? I'll help you. We're going to go out to eat anyway. I'll meet you before and then we can do it together and, you know, I can help you. And for me, it was like, oh, well, you know, he said he went to the gym and his back hurt and I don't, I'd really, I'd really hate to bother him. I'm sure I could figure it out. If it's really that impossible, then I'll just leave Ikea and then come back with him or I'll ask someone in the parking lot to help me. I don't know why I do that. Honestly, I I just I have this complex where I'm like, I don't want to bother anyone. I don't want to be an imposition. And I'm like, man, you spend your life helping everyone, like helping people, offering your help, being generous. Like, I'm sure it's not an imposition with the people that actually care about you, you know, but I just can't. I can't get out of my own head. Anyway, so I just totally struggled a bit. 
it took me a little while to get the last box in the car. Everything else is pretty cool, and I think that's kind of one of the advantages of Ikea is they split, it's, they split furniture up in boxes, so a dresser that I bought was in three boxes. Two of them were easy peasy, no problem. The two nightstands were no problem, but that third box that has like the longest pieces, I'm guessing they're like the panels, like the top, the bottom, and the sides of the dresser, I couldn't do it. But you know what too though, here's my issue, Ikea carts. Those damn Ikea carts, they wiggle around and they don't move linearly. They like, they, like the, what are they called? The, the, the bearings that they're on just move all around. So it's, I get it, it's, it's to maneuver the cart, but it's just so hard when you're trying to get, you know, when you're trying to work with physics to launch your scrappy body into this box and put it in a car. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is like a long, long heart to heart slash, it turn, I figured out how to turn a heart to heart moment into a rant. Now my head is sweaty, my armpits are sweaty, I'm pretty sure my crotch is sweaty, and I'm just like sweaty all over. God, you guys, I should know better. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. You should be working on you, I'm definitely working on me, but it's, it's, a, it's a process. I've been like this for 32 years, it'll be a process. <laughs> okay, you guys wanna see what's inside the package? It's from Physician's Formula. Um, I didn't even realize they sent me stuff. Um, so I'm kind of excited because their products for like summertime, like their bronzers and like blushes and stuff like that are pretty cute. So let's see what we got here. It says, share your looks beauty. I love when they have like cute little messages inside. I'm like, <laughs> okay, we got all excited. Dear Danny, we hope you love our new butter blush. What is it called? It is Muru Muru Butter Blush. I mean, with the name like that, it needs to get all over my face. Doesn't that sound cute? Muru Muru. Muru Muru Butter Blush. Muru Muru Butter sounds like something I want to eat, actually. So, there's four different shades. A Vintage Rouge. Look at that. Ooh, then there is a plum rose. Oh, snap. And then this one's gonna be my favorite. Natural glow. It's like a peach. And then rosy pink. This is really pretty, and this is one of those colors that I would die to try, but it'll probably look a little funny on me. I mean, it's not gonna stop me but it'll look a little funny. Okay, now we're heading over to lunch with my friend Suomi. I'm so hungry, you guys. Today's one of those days that I'm probably gonna order two lunch meals because it happens often. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but it's all right. God, I swear I smell like a wild boar. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how is the spa? Slippery. Slippery like a seal? Yeah. Ooh, I think we're gonna need some ice pop. Okay, so I told you guys we came to Arepa and I can't even tell you how excited I am. They have tamarindo frozen pops. They have flan frozen pops. They have champagne popsicles. But look at the food. So we both got the brisket and chimichurri arepa, which an arepa is like a gordita. It's like a corn. It's almost like a corn sandwich. It's almost like a sope if you've ever had a sope. And then these are, would you say mar mariquitas? Mariquitas, something like that? Yeah, and these are fried yuca. And then this is, uh, Xiaomi got the same arepa, but then she also, she got uh, fried yuca. It's supposed to be like French fries. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what the haps is. And then pineapple cream soda. I like pineapple anything, like literally my tongue is scalded currently at this moment because I ate a whole pineapple by myself. <laughs> but it's so good. They only have these soft drinks. Like they don't have Coke, Sprite, whatever. They just have this brand of soft drinks. So I thought I would try it and it changed my life. So uh, yeah. How's this for a sexy view? So what time is it? It is three o'clock. I just got home. I went 
to Target. I didn't show you guys that. I just had a return. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm so tired. But I'm tired. It's 3 o'clock. I'm not going to meet up with my friend until a little later. I think like 5 or 6. Maybe. I don't even know. I should probably pay attention to my text messaging. But you guys know how I feel about text messaging. So, um... Uh, I don't even know. Anyway, I think I'm just going to hang out with my puppies for a little while and then uh, head out. I'm really looking forward to this spot because I haven't found any like taco shop food that's actually really good here in Dallas. Do you guys like my cell phone cover? It's called an anti-gravity case. Do you guys see it's like rubbery? It actually sticks on all smooth surfaces, tile glass why am i so tired this is pathetic i should go drink one of those coffee things that i told you about this morning uh anyway so i'm just gonna hang out with my puppies and then i'll let you know where we end up going i love you okay you guys um what time is it what time is it it's almost seven o'clock and i got picked up in this really cute car you guys know how i have a fascination for everything tiny we didn't need to talk about how small this car is, but it's kind of awesome. Anyway, so we just got to this taco place, which supposedly, supposedly, is amazing. Um, it's called, it's called El Taco. <laughs> El Taco H. You see that? So, it's in, what is this area called, you know? Grapevine. Grapevine. Oh, yeah, we just passed by the mall. Okay, so it's in Grapevine, so if it's good, I'll let you guys know what's up with this close-up and this sweaty face. You guys, anyway. I'll show you my food in a little bit. Obviously, I'll save you the trouble of watching me eat like an animal, but we need to talk about that. See you in a minute. You guys, the lighting in here is atrocious, but the inside of this little taco place is so cute. Let me show you guys for a second. I'll try and not get people. But the floor, look at the floor. It's like unfinished floors. It's super sticky. Look at the chairs are green. They have all this like lucha libre stuff on the wall. Yeah, I said it. Lucha libre, look at that. See that? You know they mean business. Look at the menu. Oh, I could have done this to look at the menu. I had to put my glasses on. So we're gonna get, I think. Actually, I don't know. My friend was like, I invited you here. I'm gonna surprise you. I'm like, okay, do it. I do have beer. So I'm really hungry. The last time I ate was at, well, I don't even remember, but I'm starving. What time was it? One o'clock when I ate, and right now it's seven, and I'm super sweaty. It's pretty gross. <gasps> she has a margarita. You want to see the margarita? Oh, you see that margarita? That looks like it came out of machine though. I like my margaritas on the rocks. Anyway, I'm hungry. Bye you guys. <gasps> you guys, okay, we have chicharron. Uh, I think this is chicken. This, no idea. That is steak. None. Look at that. I feel like I'm at home again. Oh, and then look at the tostada. This is not mine. Stop judging me. I can feel your judgy eyes. So, this is really good. Hey, hey, you guys. So, it's 11 p.m. on Friday. I'm about to call it a night. I actually just FaceTime with my friend Sam for like two hours. Um, I came home after having lunch with my friend. After having lunch with... Lunch. I came home after having dinner with my friend Peter. We went to this taco place called El Taco. I think in Grapevine. It was really good. It was kind of nice to have a little bit of home. It's kind of had like that Southern California taco shop flair, which I miss. We don't, you can't find that here in Dallas. Um, but I'm kind of tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I actually have to find, I have to go to that restaurant opening, but my plans kind of fell through, so I have to find someone to go with. I'm not opposed to going by myself, let me be honest. Um, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, what did I do today? I feel like today was just super ridiculously long. I unloaded my car from the Ikea purchases. It's literally laying in the hallway somewhere. <laughs> I was like, I can't carry this by myself. So what I'm going to have to do, like, I mean, I can carry it. I carried it from the store to my car now out of my car into my house. 
but I feel like I just need to open the boxes and carry the pieces over to the room instead of just oh, man struggles of living alone I'm actually tempted to go to Home Depot and buy a dolly I just never knew I would need one but I think it might come in handy why do I look so tired I literally have like five second attention span <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, I hope you guys had an amazing day. Bye. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday, almost eight o'clock. Um, it's raining as hard as it seems. I just left my house, half pajama, half sweats, in the middle of a storm because I needed to come buy donuts in my pigtails, apparently. Um, this donut place is so good, and if you don't get here early enough, you don't get anything. When I lived in California, donut shops were open all day, like a retail store. So when I moved to Texas and I noticed that donut shops close around 10 or 11, I was like, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. But if I need to get up early and roll out of bed and you know smell like pillow to buy some delicious donuts, then I gotta sacrifice myself. I was so excited looking forward to my donuts that I forgot my camera. <laughs> Anyway, um, I don't know if you guys can see the name and I don't want my phone to get all soaking wet because I'm being an animal, um, you know, trying to actually, yeah, you can't hold on. Okay. So the place is called Donut Box is on El Dorado heading towards Little Elm. Look at, see that guy? He knows how, how good these donuts are. He's like, I'm going to sacrifice myself. Um, yeah, so they're super good. I'm going to show you guys in a sec. I literally don't get anything except glazed donuts. Totally worth it. Okay, so I just got home and I want to show you guys the donuts before I eat them like an animal. I can't say I'm gonna eat four, but I'm pretty sure I am. So, you guys ready? I'm so boring. Like, this is literally all I get. And so, they have a bunch of like red velvet and chocolate and, you know, waffle glazed and they have ham and little breakfast sandwiches and people go bonkers for this food. Like, the line is ridiculously long. The parking lot is full. I mean, you guys saw today with the weather the way it was, there was still a line. I totally cut this guy too. Well, it wasn't like I intentionally cut him. He was picking out milk. Who picks out milk? So I got in line and then I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not a line cutter. You guys know how I feel about line cutters. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. He's like, no, 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 it's totally fine. I was like, is it though? Is it? Because I, I might take your last donut and then you'll hate me forever. So, um, I just get this, the plain glaze that are for a filling. So you order it and then you tell them if you want lemon cream, whatever, but I don't get any filling because that's how good they are. They don't need filling. It's insane. So I just made myself a cup of coffee. I'm going to eat some donuts. This isn't my breakfast, by the way. This is like a pre, this is like a pregame snack. Hey, stop it. Hey, clear your jets, homegirl. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, huh? What are you looking at? What's going on? What? Hey, uh, oh, oh, hey, whoa, control yourself. I just saw you shove your nose in my glaze. You sure you want to do that? You sure you want to live your life that way? Huh? You sure you want to live your life that way? You're all about that thug life, aren't you? Yeah, I know how you are. Just like your mama.
man, what did I do today? Uh, nothing. I've just been hanging out at the house, talking to Sam, doing some chores around the house, like laundry and vacuuming and stuff like that. But do you guys remember I told you I have the soft opening. My reservations are at 5.30. My friend's gonna pick me up at five. Um, and so I'm just kinda rushing around, finishing up what I need to do. So I already got ready. I don't know if you guys can tell. I need to fix this eye. Do you see how one's darker than the other? So um, yeah, the restaurant is called, oh man, I don't even know, something Italia. Primo Italia, First Italia, something <laughs> something like that. It's at the uh, Le Legacy West. You guys know Shops of Legacy here in DFW or whatever. Opposite side, they're expanding where the True Food Kitchen is next door. They have this Italian restaurant. It's uh, a chain. They have it in Santa Monica. They have it all over the uh, U.S. They just opened this place in uh, Dallas, or rather, it's going to open, so... This weekend they're doing the soft opening, so it's like invitation only. Um, I'm really looking forward to it as a foodie because the pasta is made fresh daily, which is crazy. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so my friend will be here in like 30 minutes. The only thing left to do is uh, my lips and uh, I changed my nail polish, which I don't normally do, but because I was doing all that like Ikea furniture, um, two of my nails chipped and I got a little aggravated and instead of just patching or repairing those two. I'm not a real big fan of doing that. Um, do you guys hear Ernie? I just repainted my nails. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just finishing up getting ready. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit in just a second, but I'm hoping my eyes don't get red because I'm wearing a lot of eyeliner. Um, so I'm going to use Max Modesty, which is like the color I've been using nonstop for, I don't know, the last couple months. But I just wanted to do a really neutral lip with like leaning towards pink even though my nails are red um yeah anyway i didn't actually finish telling you guys about the nail polish so the nail polish is from this brand called p2 um it's a new brand available at walmart and so it's a really affordable brand i think it's like three or four bucks and it gives you that like gel finish uh so i was like huh, hey, might as well try it you know i'm testing it out anyway so so far, so good. So what do we think? Is it cute? Is it sexy? I just want it to look like sultry, but classy, you know? I'm wearing a blush that I actually haven't used in a really long time. I'm talking like two or three years. Um, Dainty from MAC. One of the prettiest pinks ever. It's kind of, it's very forgiving because it has that subtle shimmery finish to it. So it just gives like a, almost like a glow slash blush to the cheek. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a sec. Okay, so here is the outfit of the day. This is a black mini dress. It's a black mock turtleneck, um, mock turtleneck sweater dress from Express. Um, it's that one that I was telling you guys in my haul. I think I posted the haul a few days ago. Um, it's just one of those dresses that you could Maybe not wear it short. Danny, get some modesty. <laughs> Speaking of modesty, that's my lip color. Um, anyway, so it's just a black dress, a black mini dress. And then I don't know why I'm standing like that. These heels I've had forever. I've had them since San Diego, you guys. And I just love them so much. I haven't been able to find anything similar. So when something happens to them, I'll be really, really disappointed. Anyway, so that's the dress. I don't know if you guys can tell that it has um, ruching. Do you guys see those like little lumpity lumps? So it has ruching, so it's really forgiving if you guys are like a little self-conscious about what's happening there. You could also wear Spanx underneath if you needed to. Um, and then for my face, let me show you guys without a super extreme close-up. That's what I did to my face. I think you guys already saw it. Um, Holy Rudolph nose. Modesty, MAC Modesty on the lips. Oh, the nail polish, where is that? Where is it? Here it is. Here we go. Here we go. This is the nail polish I was telling you guys about. It's called Guest Star. Uh, how pretty is that? So pretty, right? Like it's really shiny. Um, anyway, I'm wearing Urban Decay's One and Done as my foundation. Sleek Midas palette for the highlighter. 
And then on my eyes, I'm wearing a combination of Semi Sweet from MAC, that mini nine palette, and the Naked Smoky. Yeah. Oh, and then blush is Max Dainty. It's one of the baked blushes. So yeah, kind of excited. I kind of wanted to wear this dress because at these soft openings, you can basically eat as much as you want. And because it's pasta, I needed stretchy clothes, you guys. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'll show you guys later the restaurant and what we order and everything. But until now, I'll see you guys later. It is four o'clock. So I totally fell off of vlogging wagon yesterday. We showed up at the North Italia soft opening and what's going on here? What's happening? I just had food delivered, right? And the guy's still outside my house. Like, should I call the police? <laughs> He's literally still outside of my house. Why am I whispering? Anyway, so I went to the soft opening and we got to sit right in front of the kitchen. So it was amazing. We got to see the bread and then making the um, polenta. I mean, we saw everything. It's, it's such a beautiful restaurant. But I had no signal, like dead. It, was, it wasn't like, you know when your phone goes into 3G or it has like that weird LTE signal or whatever it's called. It was literally on no service. Like if I got murdered inside that restaurant, I couldn't call for help. I mean, I, I couldn't because I would be murdered, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so that just kind of derailed everything for me. I vlogged the actual food because it was so loud. I couldn't actually vlog myself talking or anything. And then after that, I just fell off the wagon. I dropped my phone, my purse in my phone and my camera in my purse, and I never touched it again. And that was it. You know, and then this morning I woke up. I was super tired. Um, I had a really long conversation with a great friend of mine. You guys remember the friend that went with me to uh, True Food Kitchen or whatever? Um, he gives me really good advice. So we had a really long conversation. I mean, like two or three hours on the phone. And um, while I was uh, on the phone with him, I actually finished the dresser, which I was so unmotivated to do that because, you know, I don't know if you've ever done an Ikea dresser. Like, Ikea furniture, it's cool, whatever. You build it, you're good, it's not a big deal. But dressers are just daunting. I mean, there's like 50 pages in the manual, all the rails. Like, the rails really give me anxiety because if you put the rails in backwards, like you put the left versus the right or whatever, the drawers, it just, it won't work. <laughs> anyway, so... It just, uh, I got that done. And then after that, I realized I was pretty tired and I went to my room and I was like, I'm gonna have a healthy snack. So I drank some of my probiotic water and some uh, fruit and some beef jerky. For some reason, every time I eat beef jerky, I get really sleepy. You would think it's like turkey, you know, and I get super sleepy. I fell asleep 
And then I woke up because my mom called me, so my ringer scared me. I have this ringer on my mom when she calls. That is the alarm. If you guys have an iPhone, you guys know what an alarm sounds like, right? It's like quack, 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 quack. So it like scared the crap out of me. So I woke up super startled at like 2.30. Um, and then I talked to my mom for a little bit and then I realized I left my studio a mess. Like I got ready yesterday, I left it a mess, I didn't clean it up, so I kind of tidied up a little. I still have to actually clean it. Like I tidied up, but I haven't cleaned it. I want to wash my beauty blenders and my brushes, but I started um, editing a video and then I realized tomorrow's video wasn't ready to go. Like. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, you guys. And then I realized I was hungry, so I just ordered takeout, which I don't normally like to do. And you guys know I've been trying to cook on the weekends. I feel like I'm either getting my period or I'm hypersensitive right now because I'm like overanalyzing and overthinking things. And it's kind of really affecting me. So, I don't know. Anyway, let me show you guys. I got food from, I got food from this place called Rice Pot. This is where my food is from, and uh, that's their delicious little menu. And I, all, I ordered a lot of food because they won't deliver unless you order a minimum. So, it's not even that far, you guys. Like, I totally could have gone, but I literally just took a shower today, and I haven't done anything else. You guys are lucky I'm wearing a bra. Let me just put it that way. So, I'm going to show you guys my food, and then I'll eat, and then I'll talk to you guys later i don't think i'm doing anything today actually besides working so maybe i'll just come back later and be like wah, wah, i didn't do anything holy moly all right so hey do you mind back it up sister okay so we got the soft noodles like really there's no nutritional value in this well according to ernesta there is come on you should see her face She's like, is that for me? So there's literally no nutritional value in those. And then I got an egg roll. I think this is what sent me over the edge of like actually delivery. Um, and then I got the bourbon chicken. And truth be told, you guys, I actually get the bourbon chicken because I really like the shredded vegetables that come in here. Isn't that weird? And then you get to pick if you want steamed rice or brown rice or fried rice. Could you imagine getting bourbon chicken and then fried rice underneath? That just seems like a little much because then you can't enjoy the actual bourbon chicken. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to munch on. I'm definitely not going to eat most of it. It's a lot of food. It's one of those foods, kind of like pasta, where like you're eating, 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 and you don't feel like you're making a dent. That's what happens to me with this food. But I guess that's a good thing. Anyway, so I'm going to eat, and then I'll check in with you guys later. I kind of want to do something today, because I feel like, I don't know, I need to do something for myself. Hey, homegirl. You better pump the brakes, sister. You're getting way too comfortable. Yeah, you are. No, don't do that. No. Good girl. Isn't she cute? Oh. I know. Hi. I don't know if you can have any of this food. Whoa. Okay, you guys, so I'm watching this movie. I'm totally not being productive at all whatsoever. I'm watching this movie with Sandra Bullock, which in my mind, she and I are best friends. Do you guys have a celebrity like that? For me, it's Sandra Bullock. Like, she and I are friends. And um, I'm watching this movie called Our Brand is Crisis. And it's about her. She's like a strategist, which like uh, politicians and stuff like that hire when they have like a PR crisis or... You know, they're behind in the polls or whatever, and she, like, propels them to success. And as I was watching it, I think I want to dye my hair. I haven't had this urge in a very long time. The last time I dyed my hair I uh, was almost three years ago. I was still pregnant with my son. Um, and it was a horrible dye job. I don't remember where I went. I think Ali did my hair. I've only had two stylists here in Dallas. But I think for this type of change, I would have to go to like a really nice salon where they have like an Instagram account. <laughs> Lena does a really good job with cutting my hair. I just don't know. I've never seen her, her, how she dyes hair. And so my hair is natural right now. Well, literally it's air dried natural, but this is all my color. Um, 
And so I've been so good with just having my natural hair color and everyone asks me about it and it's so pretty and what, what color do I use? It's my natural hair color. It's kind of like a golden auburny mahogany in the sun. It's like a caramel brown. Um, but okay, like literally I even have long introductions on here. Okay, so, okay. You see your hair? Cause she still has her brunette brows. I don't know. What do you guys think? I've always felt like I kind of look like her, not like actually look like her, but we're both like, you know, big doe eyes. I don't know. Should I do it? So what do you guys think? You guys know I'm fearless when it comes to stuff like that. If it sucks, then I can just change it back. But I feel like I need to change. And when it's this short, I really can't do much to change it. I mean, I'm waiting for it to grow out, but that's gonna be a while. What do you think? Should I do it? <gasps> Should I do it? I don't know. Hey, hey, you guys. It is Sunday night, and I realize I didn't do anything today. So, um, this weekend wasn't that exciting, was it? I don't remember. It was okay. Um, I, I do realize though that I didn't tell you much about that restaurant. So North Italia is a new restaurant at, um, Legacy West, which is the new shopping center across from Shops of Legacy here in, um, Plano or in the DFW area or whatever. Um, the food is so good. I had the mussels. Amazing. I had the short rib amazing although it tasted like pot roast to be honest um and the mars mascarpone polenta was amazing it tasted like thick sour cream <laughs> and then uh we also tried the meatballs which are so good they weren't dry and the like the chunky marinara salsa was super good salsa sauce um what else the filet, holy moly. It was an Italian restaurant, but uh, the friend that I took is on like the special diet, so we tried to keep it like as low carb, low sugar as possible. Um, but all the stuff that we tried was amazing. Um, very, very good. Uh, I would definitely go back. Um, the staff was super friendly. I love the layout of the restaurant, it was so nice. Anyway, so today's Sunday, I didn't do anything. Like I'm lucky I even took a shower. I didn't, I just got some work done, like very little work done. Um, and that was it. It was pretty chill. I feel like I have these like mental health type days like today where they're to recharge my batteries or rather my body's telling me I need to take a break. But then at the end of the day, I feel like I'm more tired. You know what I'm saying? Like I took a nap. I know I don't believe in naps. Naps are for chumps. I don't believe in naps, but I took a nap. It was maybe like 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, I just felt like kind of crummy afterwards. Anyway, so today is Sunday. My best friend Sam arrives on Thursday and we have so much exciting stuff planned for you guys. We're gonna go, well, not for you guys. That sounded weird. We have so much fun stuff planned. So we're gonna go watch we're going to go watch Wonder Woman. We're going to go um, dancing at Sambuca. We're obviously going to go shopping. We want to discuss this idea that we have for some future endeavors. I'm trying to convince her to go on vacation with me, but she's not down for that life. So that's going to happen. It's just going to be nice to have her around. You know, I'm kind of like on this. I need to put dating on pause mode. You know, I'm like, eh not doing it for me it's not start it's starting to like not be fun it's starting to feel like a job I'm not very much looking forward to it you know when your heart's in one place and you're just trying to get better from there so <clears throat> I had this really 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 great conversation with my friend Kelly and um, we were talking about um, you know heartbreak or when someone breaks your heart and if you think about it, it's like, did they really though? 
So like if someone cheats on you, I get it, they broke your heart. If someone disappoints you, yeah, they broke your heart. But when you realize that a relationship isn't working because they don't prioritize you or because they don't call you or because they don't make plans in advance with you and you ask like, am I wasting my time? You know, and they say, oh, I'm busy or I'm not a caller or I'm not whatever. It's not necessarily like a heartbreak. You know, it's that realization that this person's just not a good fit for you. So it's a little bit harder to assimilate because it was something that you were holding on to that was never going to be there. So it's not like, oh, he cheated on me and then I'm going to forgive him and he'll never do it again and we're the love of each other's lives. We're soulmates. This is going to be one of those situations where he's just never going to be that person that you want. And so I was having this conversation with my friend Kelly and then I kind of had the conversation with my friend Hilda um, about the same thing. It's like, those are the types of like disappointments that hurt the most because it's not like you can remain hopeful because you don't want to change someone if they don't like talking on the phone or if they're not, you know, they're they're not that emotionally self-aware person that you want or they're not cuddly or uh, they don't prefer like physical interaction. Like for me, I don't know if you guys know like the Myers-Briggs. It's kind of like a personality test that tells you a little bit about who you are. I'll leave it linked in the description box below. It's fascinating. I'm a um, protagonist and literally everything that it describes about the protagonist is exactly who I am. And then the love languages, I think I've mentioned that before in another video. For love languages, there's five love languages and it's really important to know how you feel loved and how you show love. So a lot of times you ask someone like, what's your love languages? And they'll tell you, like for example, me. My love languages are physical touch and words of affirmation and so that's how I feel loved. So if I'm going to go out with someone, they have to be do they have to do those things for me in order for me to feel that they actually love me, right? But how do I show other people love? Like my way of showing love is by um physical touch and gifts. I love to give gifts because I mean, I'm just super thoughtful. Like it, the idea of giving a gift that someone's gonna be crazy about, it just totally makes me super happy. Um, so it's obviously a balance and a compromise between you and your couple, like, you know, the give and exchange type of love, whatever. But how do we even get on this topic? Oh, so I've just kind of like gone to that point where I just, dating feels almost like a job. It's not that fun. Um, I don't know. I think I need to just take a little break, a little breather, and I feel like Sam's timing is just perfect. It's just going to be perfect. Seeing her is always great. She's just good, clean, energy, fun, positivity, just love, you know, laugh, food. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know I didn't cook. I know we didn't do much exciting stuff, but that's just how it is sometimes. <laughs> But next weekend, you guys, hold on to your panties. It's going to be exciting. I really love you guys. And like all my other vlogs, I will list and link anything that I could possibly think of in the description box below. And I will also link a playlist to my other vlogs. I know a lot of you guys are saying they're too long and I need to break them up into parts one, part two, and three. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with how content creating works or being like a YouTuber, it's not successful to split up a video into parts because one person's going to come in at part two another person will come in at part three one person will see one and they'll forget to see two and three it just it doesn't make sense there's no continuation because of how google pushes videos you know how google recommends videos so it's not one of those things um like in school where you go to school monday through friday and you pick up where you left off on the lesson you know so it just it doesn't make sense if the video is too long like 
I mean, you could add it to your watch later list. You could um, not watch it. I mean, there's other things. Um, watch it in breaks. A lot of you guys are like, oh yeah, it took me like eight tries to get through the vlog, but it was totally worth it. <laughs> but I don't know. That's just, I'm thinking we're going to be between like the 40 and 60 minute mark when it's a Friday through Sunday vlog. You know what I'm saying? Especially if these outros are going to be 10 minutes. <laughs> Anyway, I really love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Check the description box for all pertinent information. And I think that's it, guys. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.